Hi guys! Welcome sa third and last example natin about Polya's four-step problem-solving strategy. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started. Recall lang natin yung apat na step ni Polya. Hindi na natin to identify dahil nabanggit na natin ito sa two previous video natin. So, meron tayong understand the problem, revise the plan, carry out the plan, and review the solution. I-apply natin itong strategy na ito sa example number 3. The product of the ages of three teenagers is 4,590. None of them are of the same age. What are the ages of these teenagers? So, we have to understand the problem. Teenagers. Kasi nang may natin yung teenagers, ang age nito ay 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Malamang teenagers nga eh. Hindi pwede ang 12, hindi pwede ang 20. Ito lang ang pamimilihan natin. Tapos, none of them are the same age. Ibig sabihin, iba-ibang number yung pipiliin natin. And they have a product of 4,590. Pag sinabi nating product, kailangan pipili tayo ng tatlong iba-iba na numbers out of this set. Tapos, i-multiply natin yung tatlong yon, Ang magiging sagot dapat ay 4,590. Device sa plan. So, ang pwede natin gawin dito, tingnan natin yung digit ng 4,590. Diba, yung 4,590, ang dulo nun ay 0. At kapag ang number ay nagtatapos sa 0, then it is divisible by 10. Pag divisible by 10 ang number, we can also say that that number is divisible by 5 and divisible by 2. Kasi 5 times 2, babalik lang sa 10. One factor should be 15. Bakit 15? Kasi 5 yung ones digit niya. Nagmamatch dun sa naisip natin na kung saan divisible itong 4,590. Since this is divisible by 5, based on our reasoning, dapat ang isang factor natin ay 15. Tapos, yung next factor natin or yung next age na kukuhanin natin ay even. Bakit even? Kasi dapat sa 2 nagtatapos. Not necessarily na 12 or 2 yung ones digit, pero dapat even. Kasi lahat ng even number ay divisible din sa 2. As for the last factor or for the last age, gagamit tayo ng trial and error method. So basically, itong four-step problem solving ni Polya, ito yung strategy na nag incorporate ng iba-ibang methods of solving a certain problem depende kung ano yung akma dun sa problem. May mga ibang problem na kailangan natin mag-drawing para makita natin yung solution or ma-visualize natin yung mga given sa ating problem. May mga problem naman na kailangan natin mag-list tulad dun sa example 1, example 2 natin. Nag-list tayo ng iba't-ibang possible combinations depende dun sa ating problem. Pwede rin tayong gumawa ng table, just like example 1. Gumawa tayo ng table to observe pattern. Sa example 3 na to, dahil wala na tayong ibang clue aside from 15 and even number, gagamit tayo ng trial and error method. So, we carry out that plan. First, isip muna tayo ng pwedeng i-pair sa 15, tapos dapat even siya. Tapos, yung pangatlo nating i-prepare kahit ano na lang muna. No? Kasi trial and error naman eh. So, say for example, you have 15, 14, and 13. Pag pinag-time sila, 2,730, masyadong maliit compared to 4, 5, 90. So, I suggest you pause this video and try different numbers na pwedeng i-prepare sa 15. Kailangan yung isa ay even. Tapos, yung isa, kahit anong number, basta nandun sa range of ages ng mga teenagers. After 10 seconds, resume tayo para makita kung tama ba or na-arrive nyo nga ba yung tamang sagot para sa example number 3. How about 15, 16, and 17? Kung na-try nyo to, malalaman nyo din na hindi pa rin ito. Dahil masyado maliit, no? Pero lumalapit na siya dun sa 4,590. If you tried 15, 16, and 19, maliit pa din, pero malapit na. 4,590, ito ay 4,560. I hope you arrived with this kind of solution dahil na yung pinaka-sagot natin. 15 times 18 times 17 is 4,590. 
So therefore, the ages of these teenagers are 15, 17, and 18 years old. And then we reviewed the solution. 15, 17, and 18, it confirms na teenager pa rin ang mga batang ito dahil yung age nila ay nandun pa sa range for teenagers. 13, 14, 16, and 19, itong mga numbers na hindi natin napili ay hindi naman talaga factors ng 4,590. Try it on your calculator. I-divide nyo itong 4,590 by 13, 14, 16, and 19. Ang magiging sagot dyan ay mga numbers na may decimal. So, ibig sabihin, hindi, hindi sila factor ng 4,590. So, we are left with no other solution but 15, 17, and 18 as the possible ages for these teenagers. Again, these are in years, ha? Years old. So, that's it for example number 3. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.